Today, for our Math Strategies video, we're going to be identifying and naming geometric figures such as points, line segments, lines, rays, angles. Those angles could be right, acute, or obtuse. And we're also going to be looking at parallel and perpendicular lines. So let's go ahead and get started. So a point is a single location in space. You can draw a dot to show the point. And you name your points with a capital letter. So right here you see point A and has that capital A. If you make a fist and hold it up in the air, you have made an example of a point. So a line segment is a straight row of points that starts at one point and ends at another point. You can write line segment as just a line over AB. And notice how we also used capital letters. Okay, um, if you make a fist with both hands and hold both arms out straight side to side, you have created a line segment. So a line is a straight row of points that goes on forever in both directions. You can write line AB, as you can see there's a line over it with an arrow on each side over AB. Notice we used capital letters again. The arrows show that the line goes on forever in both directions. So if you hold both arms out straight to, to the sides with hands open and fingers pointed out like arrows, you have created a line. A ray is a straight row of points that starts at one point and goes on forever in one direction. You can write ray AB as a ray above it and then a b again capital letters if you hold one arm out straight with hand with with a hand open and fingers pointing out like an arrow you have created a ray so angles is something we have worked on in the past um, if rays lines or line segments meet at a common point they form an angle you can write angle a so like this one right here, as a little angle with a capital A, or you can, you can write it as angle CAB, because notice, it, notice you have a ray of AC or AB that makes that angle. The vertex is always the middle letter when you are labeling an angle. So hold both arms straight to form an angle, hands open and fingers pointing out like arrows and you have created a type of angle. So now we're going to take a look at some lines that you can create. So parallel lines are two lines that are always the same distance apart and will never meet. As you can see I have vertical, horizontal, and di diagonal parallel lines here. Now perpendicular lines are lines that cross at a 90 degree angle. And you'll notice you have the little squares here which tell you those are gonna be 90 degrees. So now we're gonna take a look at an example of some different ways that you could describe a geometric, geometric figure using some of, the, some, of these vocab, some of these vocabulary words. So here I see a rectangle and it is labeled with A, B, C, and D. Okay, one way that I can describe this figure is that it includes four line segments. So line segment AB, line segment BC, CD, and AD. I can also describe this um, figure with four right angles. And here I just use the vertex as um, a way to describe it. So I have angle A, angle B, angle C, and angle D. Another way I could describe this is a two sets of parallel lines. So I have line AB, or line segment AB, and line segment CD. Those two lines are parallel. And then of course BC and AD are also parallel. So as you begin to draw and identify attributes of geometric figures, keep in mind all the different details that can be used to describe one 2D shape. 